one time we had a session, which is a week long retreat, Zen retreat. And at the end, it was, it had the flavor of, of just a lot of heavy suffering, a lot of heavy emotion, but everyone in the retreat felt it. And I remember at the end that the Zen teacher, my Zen teacher gave a talk and he said something to the, the, the degree, something to the effect of, you may feel at times like you are adrift in an ocean of suffering. And what you, what you could possibly bring to this now feels like literally a drop in the ocean. And he said, even if you don't perceive it, what you're doing matters. It really matters. And it makes a difference. It makes a difference in ways you won't, won't always see. Sometimes you will, but for the most part, you may not even notice the difference that you make when you perpetuate the act of not carrying suffering forward in this one moment, in this one simple way. And then again, and then again, you can't know who saw that, who felt that, who felt the, the release, the letting go, the relinquishment, who felt the forgiveness that they had never felt in that life because you were able to do it, in a, even in very simple ways. Um, so this work, I just want to emphasize this for everyone. This work is very powerful work. It's very important work, um, but it doesn't always feel rewarding in, in the usual sense of the word. It can at times. I mean, there, are, there are insights that are profoundly enjoyable. Um, um, but, but so much of this is, is really heavy work, it can be very painful at times, disorienting, confusing, forces us to face things we may not want to look at, like, did I really choose to come into this life with this situation, whatever it is? Asking these very profound fundamental questions is not comfortable, um, but I think it can be valuable. Uh, the willingness to just face that, to do that, to go um, one step deeper, to let go just a little bit more. Um, actually does matter. And I think the deeper the realization goes, the clearer it is how that works, the more you feel it um, in, the, in the environment, in the local environment, um, energetically. And so, uh, so what you're doing, what everyone here is doing is, is profoundly meaningful, in my opinion, the best thing you can be doing with your life energy, really. It doesn't mean it's the only thing I think you should be doing. Um, there are wonderful ways to express ourselves artistically and otherwise um, nurturing other beings, protecting others, uh, having families, loving all of it is wonderful. But this to me is the, the really the best thing you can do for, for uh, selflessness, for unconditional love.